Polish farmers in the Niagara Peninsula are no strangers to the hard work of farming in the region, but the labor put into the collection of frozen grapes for producing ice wine of the highest quality is an incomparable effort. At this temperature, how you harvest, how you work, it all costs. Ice wine is made from grapes that will see winter frosts before harvest. This detail itself is a trick in timing, as the sweet fruits are an easy meal for hungry birds this time of year. In response, nearly 19 years ago, Mr. Gregory Sinosh, whose passion has been wine production since the beginning of his emigration, invented special mesh netting, which protects the grapes not only from birds, but also from crosswinds. The harvest begins only once the temperature falls to minus 10 and remains there steadily for at least four hours. For the Polish wine producers, this is a faded race against time. There are times when we do not sleep for three months at a time. Today we have excellent conditions and we are harvesting ice wine during the day. For the most part, harvest occurs with the help of floodlights at all hours of the night. Delicately sweet, with a light acidity, and a price that reasonably reflects the difficulty of harvest. The harvest was just aborted because the temperature dropped to minus five and the grapes were simply too soft. The frozen grapes must be pressed at the correct pace. Pressing too quickly threatens to create a thick shell of ice which will block the machine. Pressing too slowly may suddenly be interrupted by an increase in air temperature. In order for the grapes to remain frozen at a steady temperature during production, they must be stored in such containers. These vineyards stretch for over 7,400 acres, from Hamilton to Niagara-on-the-Lake. Only here does the climate permit the production of ice wine on a global scale, with humid summers for the growing season and cold winters that allow the grapes to freeze at the required temperature. <laughs>